This symbol, since it's such an important symbol of a serpent, is one of the earliest symbols we have of the Snake Kingdom. Wow. In the dense jungles of Guatemala lies El Mirador, an ancient Mayan city surrounded with mystery and interest. Led by the fearless explorer Josh Gates, alongside renowned archaeologist Dr. Richard Hansen, a team went on an expedition to uncover the secrets hidden within its ancient ruins. What they discovered would not only challenge conventional beliefs about Mayan civilization, but also unearth terrifying truths lurking beneath the jungle canopy. El Mirador, situated deep within the jungles of Guatemala, presents a captivating mystery that has fascinated archaeologists and explorers alike. Dating back to a time before many other prominent Mayan cities, such as Tikal and Copan, El Mirador's origins defy conventional understanding of Mayan civilization. Believed to have flourished between 600 BC and 100 AD, El Mirador predates its counterparts by over a thousand years. This distinction alone sets it apart as a unique archaeological site, challenging previous assumptions about the timeline of Mayan development. While other Mayan cities were still in their infancy, El Mirador was already a bustling metropolis, thriving amidst the dense jungle canopy. This was a, a tender moment in history. We're just privileged to be able to, to try to capture that moment. What truly sets El Mirador apart is its sheer size and complexity. Spread over a vast expanse, El Mirador includes sprawling urban centers, massive temples, and complex architectural features. The scale of its construction is awe-inspiring, leaving archaeologists surprised at the level of sophistication achieved by the ancient Maya. This is the first level of Dante. Wait, we're on the pyramid now? Yeah. <laughs> the discovery of El Mirador has forced scholars to reevaluate their understanding of Mayan civilization. Previously, it was believed that Mayan cities started small and gradually grew in size and complexity over time. However, El Mirador challenges this notion by presenting a fully developed urban center that predates other cities by centuries. How do you get this plaster? The lime plaster is made by burning limestone with green wood. Green wood. Green wood. Moreover, the architectural marvels found at El Mirador shed light on the creativity and engineering skills of the ancient Maya. Massive structures, such as the Lamanai Pyramid, stand as lasting monuments to their craftsmanship and vision. These feats of engineering, constructed using rudimentary tools and techniques, showcase the advanced knowledge and skills possessed by the ancient Maya. The significance of El Mirador extends beyond its physical structures. It offers a glimpse into the societal organization, cultural practices, and religious beliefs of the ancient Maya. Through the study of its architecture, inscriptions, and artifacts, scholars have pieced together a richer understanding of Mayan civilization and its complexities. Yet, despite the wealth of information obtained from El Mirador, many mysteries still remain. The exact reasons for its rise and fall, the complexities of its political and social systems, and the cultural significance of its monuments continue to evade researchers. Each new discovery at El Mirador only serves to deepen the mystery, leading to further exploration and inquiry. As Josh Gates and Dr. Hansen started on their expedition into the heart of El Mirador, little did they know they were about to come across a discovery that would rewrite the narrative of Mayan civilization. Deep within the ruins of this ancient city, they came across a symbol etched into the stone, a serpent, its coils winding delicately amidst the remains of a forgotten past. This serpent symbol was no ordinary carving. It represented more than just a creature of the jungle. It was a window into the mythology and beliefs of the ancient Maya. As one of the earliest depictions of the Snake Kingdom, it held immense significance, challenging previous assumptions about the origins of Mayan culture. But I want to show you those here. So what you're looking at, this is the eye of a serpent. It's got its open mouth here. The serpent, or snake, held a central place in Mayan mythology, often symbolizing fertility, rebirth, and power. Its presence in El Mirador suggested a deep connection to the supernatural realm, a realm ruled by the mysterious snake kings who once held sway over the city. But who were these snake kings, and what role did they play in the history of El Mirador? The discovery of the serpent symbol raised intense questions about the political and religious landscape of ancient Maya society. Were the snake kings respected as divine rulers, wielding authority over both the mortal realm and the world of the gods? 
or were they feared as malevolent entities capable of unleashing chaos and destruction upon their subjects? As Josh Gates and Dr. Hansen wondered about these questions, they realized the implications of their discovery. The serpent symbol challenged existing theories about the development of Mayan mythology, suggesting that its origins were far older and more complex than previously believed. It hinted at a rich tapestry of beliefs and traditions that had been woven into the fabric of Mayan culture since old times. Moreover, the serpent symbol shed light on the lasting legacy of the Snake Kings, whose influence extended far beyond the borders of El Mirador. These rulers, covered in myth and legend, left an unerasable mark on Mayan civilization, shaping its religious practices, political structures, and cultural identity. In the heart of El Mirador's dense jungle, the expedition led by Josh Gates and Dr. Hansen reached a critical juncture as they uncovered a hidden chamber beneath the imposing Grand Acropolis. This structure, towering above the surrounding ruins, held the exciting promise of revealing the long-lost tombs of the Snake Kings, mysterious rulers of ancient Mayan lore. Another burial. No <laughs> doubt about it, this is a burial. Oh, what is that? Excavating the chamber proved to be a Herculean task, filled with challenges and uncertainty. As the team dived deeper into the earth, they found a labyrinth of obstacles, dense foliage, crumbling stone, and the relentless invasion of nature. Yet, unfazed by the daunting odds, they pressed on, driven by the draw of uncovering ancient mysteries concealed beneath the jungle floor. The journey into the depths of the Grand Acropolis was not merely a physical undertaking, but a voyage into the unknown, a quest to uncover the secrets of a civilization lost to time. With each layer of dirt and debris painstakingly removed, the tension mounted and the anticipation grew. Hours turned into days as the team carried on tirelessly, driven by a shared sense of purpose and determination. Amidst the treacherous conditions, the expedition faced numerous setbacks and challenges. Collapsing tunnels, unstable terrain, and the ever-present threat of danger tested their resolve at every turn. Yet, fueled by their unfazed commitment to discovery, they pressed forward, undeterred by the obstacles that lay in their path. As they neared the heart of the chamber, the air crackled with anticipation. A clear sense of excitement mingled with fear. With each passing moment, the prospect of uncovering ancient tombs became increasingly real, lending renewed hope to their efforts. Finally, after days of tireless excavation, their perseverance was rewarded. A hidden chamber concealed beneath the earth lay before them, its secrets waiting to be revealed. With bated breath, they stepped into the darkness, their torches casting flickering shadows across the ancient walls. What they discovered within the chamber was nothing short of shocking a burial site containing the remains of what appeared to be the Snake Kings themselves. The air was thick with the weight of history as they gazed upon the silent guardians of El Mirador's past, their mysterious presence casting a spell of admiration and awe. There it is right there. Oh my God, it's painted. Yeah. The excavation site buzzed with activity as archaeologists and researchers worked tirelessly to unearth the mysteries hidden within the chamber. Every scrape of the shovel, every brush of the broom, brought them closer to their ultimate goal, a chilling discovery that would rewrite the history books. As the excavation progressed, the excitement reached a fever pitch. With each passing moment, the prospect of uncovering ancient treasures and long-lost artifacts became increasingly real. Yet, amidst the excitement, there was an underlying sense of respect, a recognition of the solemn responsibility that came with unearthing the remains of a bygone era. The discovery sent ripples of excitement and disbelief through the expedition team. For centuries, the Snake Kings had remained cloaked in mystery and legend, their existence lowered to the realm of myth. Yet, here they were, tangible evidence of a bygone era, a testament to the lasting legacy of El Mirador's ancient rulers. As the team stood in the presence of history, they were filled with a sense of awe and wonder. Their efforts had not been in vain. They had succeeded in unlocking the secrets of the past and shedding light on the mysterious rulers who once held sway over the ancient Mayan world. This wasn't the only terrifying discovery made by Josh Gates and his team. The search for the lost city of Z, 
led by British explorer Percy Fawcett in the early 20th century, has captivated the imaginations of adventurers and historians alike. In Expedition Unknown, host Josh Gates went on a journey to uncover the truth behind Fawcett's mysterious disappearance and his quest to find this mythical city hidden deep within the Amazon rainforest. Astounding. I feel like we've traveled back in time here. We truly have traveled back in time. Is all of this Moiska? This is a Moiska community, Josh. Percy Fawcett, a seasoned explorer, set out on his final expedition in 1925 with the ambitious goal of locating the lost city of Z, also known as El Dorado, or the City of Gold. Armed with little more than a sense of adventure and a few unreliable maps, Fawcett ventured into the unknown depths of the Amazon, accompanied by his son Jack and their companion, Raleigh Rimmel. As the expedition progressed, Fawcett sent back dispatches detailing their progress and the fascinating clues they uncovered. He spoke of ancient ruins, mysterious artifacts, and encounters with native tribes, all of which seemed to point towards the existence of a hidden civilization deep within the jungle. However, as weeks turned into months, Fawcett and his team vanished without a trace. Despite numerous rescue missions and search efforts, no sign of the explorers or their fate was ever found. The disappearance of Percy Fawcett and the mystery of the lost city of Z became one of the greatest unsolved mysteries of the 20th century. In an episode of Expedition Unknown, Josh Gates retraced Fawcett's footsteps, following the clues and piecing together the puzzle of his final expedition. Guided by Fawcett's writings and accounts from native tribes, Gates ventured into the remote reaches of the Amazon rainforest in search of potential archaeological sites and artifacts linked to the lost city of Z. Along the way, Gates came across challenges and obstacles that echoed those faced by Fawcett and his team decades earlier. Dense jungle, treacherous terrain, and the ever-present dangers of wildlife tested the limits of Gates and his expedition crew as they pushed deeper into the heart of the Amazon. Look okay. at this, it's huge! Josh, this is it! Despite the challenges, Gates uncovered compelling evidence that suggested Fawcett may have been onto something. He discovered ancient ruins, stone structures, and artifacts that hinted at the existence of a lost civilization hidden within the jungle. These exciting finds reignited hope and fueled Gates' determination to uncover the mystery of the lost city of Z. As the expedition progressed, Gates dived into the history and mythology surrounding the lost city of Z, exploring the legends of El Dorado and the stories of other explorers who have sought its fabled riches. Along the way, he encountered some native tribes who shared their own tales and legends, adding depth and insight to the quest for the mysterious city. In the end, while the ultimate fate of Percy Fawcett remains a mystery, Expedition Unknown offers an exciting glimpse into the world of exploration and adventure. Through Gates's quest to uncover the truth behind the lost city of Z, viewers are transported to a realm of mystery and interest, where the draw of the unknown lures and the legacy of past explorers lives on. In another thrilling episode of Expedition Unknown, Josh Gates took on the difficult task of uncovering the mystery surrounding the disappearance of legendary aviator Amelia Earhart. Earhart's vanishing act has long been one of history's most confounding puzzles, captivating the world's attention for decades. Setting the stage for this interesting investigation, Gates dived into the known facts of Earhart's final flight. In 1937, Earhart and her navigator, Fred Noonan, went on an ambitious journey to circumnavigate the globe. However, their flight over the Pacific Ocean abruptly ended in tragedy when they vanished without a trace. As Gates set off on his expedition, he sifted through a wealth of theories and speculation surrounding Earhart's disappearance. From crash landings to secret missions and even theories of espionage, the possibilities are as diverse as they are exciting. And then what became of the box and the bones? It was all given to the Fiji Museum. Amidst the dense fog of uncertainty, Gates and his team uncovered a potential breakthrough, a trove of evidence suggesting that Earhart and Noonan may have survived their crash landing and lived as castaways on a remote island. This revelation sent shockwaves through the expedition, reigniting hope and rekindling the flames of curiosity. With newfound determination, Gates dived deeper into the evidence, carefully piecing together the puzzle of Earhart's final days. He followed the trail of clues, from eyewitness accounts to fascinating artifacts, 
painting a vivid picture of the aviator's struggle for survival in the unforgiving wilderness of the Pacific. As the expedition progressed, Gates confronted the harsh realities of Earhart's ordeal, the scorching sun, the relentless heat, and the constant battle for food and water. Yet amidst the hardship, there are moments of hope and resilience as Earhart and Noonan defy the odds and cling to life against all odds. Drawing upon the expertise of historians, archaeologists, and forensic experts, Gates carefully analyzed the evidence, separating fact from fiction and shedding light on the truth behind Earhart's disappearance. Through careful examination of radio transmissions, navigational charts, and satellite imagery, he pieced together the final moments of the ill-fated flight, uncovering the mystery that has puzzled investigators for decades. In the end, as Gates reflected on his journey, he was left with a deep sense of awe and admiration for Earhart's courage and determination. Her legacy, he realized, goes beyond the confines of history, serving as a beacon of inspiration for generations to come. In another thrilling episode of Expedition Unknown, Josh Gates takes viewers on an adventure into the heart of the Himalayas in search of the legendary Yeti, also known as the Abominable Snowman. This mythical creature, said to inhabit the remote mountainous regions of Nepal and Tibet, has captured the imaginations of explorers and adventurers for centuries. Yeah. I spotted this disturbance, yeah. yeah, which led me to the print. That's cool. It, it, it is very interesting. Gates began his quest by immersing himself in the rich tapestry of local legends and folklore surrounding the Yeti. He listened to accounts from native communities who have shared stories of encounters with the mysterious creature, adding depth and context to his investigation. Armed with this knowledge, Gates set out to examine alleged Yeti artifacts and evidence that may shed light on the creature's existence. From ancient footprints to hair samples, he carefully analyzed each piece of evidence, separating fact from fiction in his quest for the truth. As Gates dived deeper into the Himalayas, he navigated treacherous terrain and braved the elements in search of mysterious clues. From remote mountain villages to rugged wilderness areas, he explored every corner of the region, following leads and chasing whispers of the mysterious Yeti. Along the way, Gates encountered local guides and experts who shared their insights and expertise on the creature. These encounters offer valuable perspectives and first-hand accounts, providing invaluable context for Gates' investigation. Despite the challenges and obstacles he faced, Gates remained firm in his quest for the truth. With each step, he inched closer to uncovering the mystery of the Yeti driven by a relentless curiosity and determination to uncover the mystery once and for all. As the expedition progressed, Gates confronted the harsh realities of the Himalayan wilderness, the biting cold, the thin air, and the uneven terrain. Yet amidst the adversity, there were moments of wonder and awe as Gates took in the breathtaking beauty of the snow-capped peaks and pristine landscapes that surrounded him. In the end, while Gates may not find definitive proof of the Yeti's existence, his journey offers valuable insights into the lasting draw of this mythical creature. Through his exploration of local legends, examination of alleged evidence, and encounters with native communities, Gates paints a vivid portrait of the Yeti's place in Himalayan folklore and the human imagination. All in all, in the depths of the Guatemalan jungle, El Mirador stands as a testament to the lasting legacy of the ancient Maya. Through the efforts of explorers like Josh Gates and archaeologists like Dr. Richard Hansen, its secrets are slowly being uncovered, shedding light on a civilization surrounded in mystery. As we reflect on their expedition, we are reminded of the limitless curiosity and resilience of the human spirit, the driving force behind our quest to uncover the truths hidden within the sands of time.